In this example, we want to use a linear approximation to estimate the cube root of 126. And then we also want to round that approximation to five decimal places. Okay. So in this figure, uh, we have the graph of the cube root of x, which is x to the one-third power. And so to do this problem, okay, what we want to do is we want to choose, uh, to do our estimate, we want to choose a number um, that's close to 126. And at the same time, we want to know, uh, you know, we want to know the value of that cube root. Okay, something, something that we can uh, calculate. Okay, and that number is going to be 125 because we, can, we easily know that the cube root of 125 is 5, right? Because 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. Okay. All right, so we're going to use, all right, so that's what we're going to use, okay, to do our estimate. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and plot those. Let's see. Uh, so let's say here we have 125. And somewhere over here will be 126, okay? All right, so, right, the, the cube root of 125 is 5. Okay, and for 126, this is the value that we want to find. All right, so I'm going to call this, uh, this is going to be, uh, I'm going to call this Y2, okay? And I'll call this point, let's see, let me use a different color here. So I'll call this one Y2. Uh, this was Y1 equals to 5. And I'll call this one X1, and this is going to be called X2, okay? So again, we chose x1 as 125 because that is a value that we can easily take the cube root of. In other words, I did, we didn't need a calculator to do that, okay? And that's also close. It's very, it's a nice value to work with, and it's close to 126, okay? All right, so from here, okay, um, notice these two points, right, are on the function, okay? And... Uh, because of that, we can calculate the uh, the slope. Okay, the slope of the of the secant line that that's that's here. Okay, so let me go ahead and plot in the secant line. So the secant line is going to go through these two points. Okay. Okay, so that is our secant line. Okay. Okay, that's the one in green. So the slope of that secant line, okay. Okay, the slope of it's is basically um, it's what y2 minus y1, right? It's the difference in y so divided by the difference in x, okay? And so remember that this, right? This is approx. This can be approximated by the slope. I'm sorry, approximated by the the derivative of our function evaluate at 125, okay? All right. Okay, so this will give us, okay, if we work with this form, okay, all right, we can work with this to give us an equation so that we can approximate the value, the cube root of 126. Okay, 
So this is going to be, okay, so y2 minus y1 equals to f prime of 125 times, okay, I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation, of this, um, of this expression that you see here in the, in the yellow outline by x2 minus x1, okay. And then we can go ahead and add on y1. So, so we have y2 is equal to y1, okay. So now this is an approximation, okay, so I should change the symbol here, okay. All right. If we're using the slope of the secant line, then we would have, uh, then we would have this equal, we would have equal signs here. But because we're, we're approximating, right, we're using the derivative to approximate the slope of that secant line, okay? So we have y2 is going to be approximated by y1 plus the function, the derivative, right? Evaluate at 125 times x2 minus x1, okay? So this is going back to the idea of the linear approximation, okay? And this is also using the differentials that we discussed in class. Okay. Okay. So look, look, look what we have here. So we have we want to find y two, right? That's the value. That's what we're trying to look for. Okay. So put a question mark here. We want to find the, what is the cube root of one twenty six. That is so. That is we want to find the value of y two. So that can be approximated by y one, which we which we know, and we know the uh, we can take the derivative and evaluate one twenty five, and we also know the value of x two and x one. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and um, let's plug in these values. Okay. So we're gonna have y two. Y one is five plus the derivative of f evaluated at 125, and x2, which is 126, minus x1, which is 125, okay? All right, let's go ahead and take the derivative of our function. So this is just x to the one-third, so when we take the derivative of this, we're gonna get one-third x to the negative two-thirds, okay? And that is the same as one over three times the Q root of X squared. Okay. Okay. Or we can write like this. We can go ahead and write this as the Q root of X and then square all this. Okay. So either way, it's fine. You can either put the two on the outside or inside. It doesn't make any difference here. I put it on the outside because it's um, it just it's easier to evaluate our derivative. Okay. Okay. So that means we have okay. So the function evaluate at one twenty five going to be equal to, okay, we have 1 over 3, and then we're going to take the cube root of 125, and then square this. So the cube root of 125 is 5, so we're going to get 1 over 3 times 5 squared. That's going to give us a value of 1 over 75. Okay. All right. So that is the, again, that's the derivative of our function evaluated at 125. And so that's going to, we're going to plug that value into here. Okay. So y2 is going to be approximately by 5 plus 1 over 75 times 1. Okay. So we have 5 
plus 175. Okay. And so that's going to give us an approx approximately 5.0133. And we want five decimal places. Okay, so three. Okay. So that is our solution. Okay. All right. So again, that is the right. So that is the approximation of the cube root right, of one twenty six. Okay. All right. So that is so that is how you find. That's how you can approximate, uh, you can come up with the approximation for this using a linear, uh, using a linear approximation, okay? And combining that with the idea of differentials.